Hey, this is the CND Channel. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for you. Uh, I'm going to be doing my prediction for XFC 15, which is going to happen on December 2nd on HDNet. Um, I'm just going to go with the main card on here, uh, the main card that I saw anyways. A um, little disclaimer, um, I'm not too familiar with a lot of these fighters. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's one of those cards... And I like it. I like watching XFC, but um, you know, I don't really know what's gonna happen. You know, but uh, you know, let's just let's just get started though. Okay, we have uh, Jonatas uh, Novus versus uh, Eric Reynolds. Yeah, I, I can't even get the name right. Okay, um, the thing with Reynolds that's really interesting is that he's only lost uh, pretty much uh, some of the uh, better fighters out there. You know, besides his DQ loss to uh, Iber Rico, um, he, he's only lost to like Luis Palomino, uh, Jorge Masvidal, Eddie Alvarez, and uh, Rob DeSaint Emerson. Um, you know, all of his wins are by stoppage. Um, one thing about uh, Reynolds, though, is that um, he hasn't fought in over a year. Uh, well, not oh, not a, not over a year. It's gonna be um, December third. Well. Yeah, it'll be j uh, almost a year, almost to the day, um, with uh, Nova's, um, you know, all of his finishes are by submission. It's on a four-fight win streak right now. Um, you know, I, I'm going to go with the guy that, that doesn't have a long layoff. I'll go with uh, Nova uh, to win this one. The next fight after that, we have a women's fight, as uh, Felice Herrig is going to fight... Uh, Carla Esparza. Um, you know, Carla Esparza, she's pretty good. She, she, she's only lost to Jessica Aguilar and Megumi Fuji. So, you know, she's only lost to the best. Um, I think she, on, she got a split decision in Bellator against Aguilar. Uh, Felicia Herrick, though, you know, she trains with Team Cur Curran. Um, she's on a two-fight win streak right now. Uh, so, you know, this one's, uh, pretty hard for me to call, actually, you know, uh, you know, Harry gets a 5-3 and three record, Esparza has a 5-2 and two record, you know, um, oh. um, Esparza does have a wrestling base, though, uh, it, this one's really hard for me to call, to be honest, I'm taking kind of a shot in the dark here, I, I, I like Team Curran, um, I'm gonna go with Felice Harry here. But, you know, Carlos Sparza um, definitely has the capabilities of uh, winning this one. Okay, next right after that, uh, Dennis Hernandez is going to fight Nick Newell. Um, I got to go with Newell. He's an undefeated prospect. He's only 25. The uh, thing that's kind of worrisome, though, is he, he's own, never been past the first round, so you never know how he's going to handle that, how his cardio holds up. Um, but... You know, we'll see. Most of his wins are by submission. Yeah, I mean, he does have a good submission game. Uh, Hernandez, uh, you know, he, he's uh, pretty good himself. Um, yeah, his record's not great, 3-2, and two, but he's actually on a three-fight win streak right now. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll go with um, Nick Newell to win this one. Okay, next right after that, we have some Ultimate Fighter veterans as Corey Hill is going to fight Charlie Rader. Um, Corey Hill's probably going to be most well known for, um, I believe he checked a leg kick and his leg, like, wrapped around the other guy's, like, leg. I mean, it, like, broke. The guy's, like, 6'4", he fights at 155, and he's super skinny. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of odd, actually. Um, the thing with Corey, too, uh, he hasn't fought in over a year. Um... Last time he fought was September 9th, uh, 2010. And, you know, it's coming off a loss of Razor Rob McCullough. Charlie Rader, probably best known for being the, you know, getting yelled at over by a drunken Tony Ferguson. Being asked, where's your kid? You know, and, and whatnot. Uh, for no real reason whatsoever. <laughs> um... And he's uh, doing pretty good right now, actually. Six-fight win streak. You know, he trains at uh, Power MMA with guys like... Um, Power MMA is like Bader 
Dalloway, Simpson, and those guys, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, most of it, you know, he has a lot of power in his hands. Uh, ten of his wins are by KRTKO. And I'm going to pick Charlie Rader to win this one. Do it for your kid. <laughs> uh -huh. Next fight after that, we have some UFC veterans as uh, John Koloski is going to fight Ryan the Tank and Gentanis. Um, I was a big fan of John Koloski um, coming out of the Ultimate Fighter 6. He, he just had a, that really cool gung-ho attitude. Lost twice to Mac Danzig. But it was cool because, you know, Danzig was the favorite, but Koloski still wanted to fight him. He's kind of old, though. You know, he's 37 years old. I think he fights part-time, too. He has, like, a, I'm pretty sure he has a day job. Um... And just kind of does this, like, uh, part-time. Um, you know. And, and but with Ryan Thomas, you know, he's going to be 10 years younger. Um, he trains out of uh, American Top Team. Um, one thing that's alarming with Thomas, though, is that uh, three of his last... He's only won three of his last nine fights. Um, thing is, though, two of those losses were to, like, Ben Askren. Um... And so he, he's fought some really tough guys. Um, I remember when in Bellator when he fought uh, McClintock, and he took him down and just pounded the guy, man. Um, you know, I'm liking t Ryan Thomas here, despite him kind of being, like, a bit shaky right now. Um, like I said, I like his uh, grappling ability. I like his ground and pound. Uh, you know, he, he's a very game fighter, and he's fought some really tough competition, so I'll go with Ryan Thomas to win this one. Okay, next fight after that, we have Shaw uh, Bobonis versus uh, Jeremy Pender. Um, this one's uh, tough for me to call, as uh, Pender, you know, he, he's uh, he's never been uh, to a decision. You know, this is a guy, 7-3 uh, record, you know, he... And they're all finishes, you know. And if he loses, he gets finished himself by K or TKO. And most of his wins are by submission. Uh, you know, but with uh, Shaba Bonus, you know, he's pretty solid. Four of his wins are by K or TKO, and four of them uh, for subs. He's uh, submissions. Uh, he's on a three fight winning streak right now. Don't know too much about these guys, so I'll go with Shaba Bonus to win this one. Okay, and finally, uh, we have Imani Lee versus uh, Brandon uh, Sales. I uh, don't know much about these guys. I, my rule of t thumb in general is don't pick the guy coming with the losing record. Lee has like two wins and three losses. Um, all three of his losses have been by submission. Um, with Sales, he's only had one MMA fight. Um... And that first fight he had didn't even go past the first round. He won it by TKO. I'll go with the, I'll go with Brandon Sales to win this one. Okay, uh, that's it for my XFC 15 uh, predictions. If you have any comments, just leave them below. And that's it for MMA for you. Thank you very much.